have to understand that Margot was never boy crazy, not even when she was a kid. We were two bachelors in our 20s. We had a couch, a TV, and a table, and I swear to God that was it. <laughs> That's a true story. All right? And Liam eventually got this adorable husky named Elroy. So when she told me that she had met someone who lived in the apartment building next door to hers and who had the cutest husky puppy, Elroy. Yeah, he was pretty cute. He's still cute. <laughs> and he kept telling me every, every time he would come back from his walks, he'd be like, oh, I met the girl next door. I thought, oh, that's cute, the boy next door. She was very excited about this guy. And he'd keep talking about her, he'd keep talking about her, he'd keep talking about her. Full disclosure, she would look, I don't know if you know this, Leo, but she would look out the window and wait until, and wait until Liam was out there with, with Elroy, and then go out there with Fox. And I did the, I did the same thing. Oh! And eventually, Liam comes to me and he goes, he says, we gotta talk, we get that text. You get that text, it's never a good feeling. And he, he goes, it's time for Margo to move in. And I go, and this is six months, and I go, ah! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And he goes, I can cut your rent by $200. I'm like, bring her in. Oh my God. And I'm not kidding. We were one happy family for five years. Five years. When Margo moved in, what I would refer to as like a, uh, a ransom video chic <laughs> styled apartment. <laughs> Quickly became, and I say this in all honesty, a real home. You actually made it beautiful. And I'm so glad I got to share them with the two of you. I love you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you for your patience and your generosity. I love you. Cheers to Lehman Mark. Happy couple, a dirty sock on the floor, dogs barking at the door. <laughs> yes, you did snore, and I love you. Do you love it? Wow, yeah, it's stunning. Love it? Yes, I love it. I had a bad day, a good day, a day with you, away from you, come home to you my best friend jeopardy on the tv dinner in the oven expecting laughter expecting touching we should really replace that i will have liam go first because he might as well find out now that margo will always have the last word <laughs> I already knew that. <laughs> Amen. Do you, Liam, take Margot to be your wife, your partner in life, your best friend, and your one true love? I do. Do you, Margot, do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others, and holy only unto him? I do. Do you both promise to change your Facebook status and be the father of the ceremony? <laughs> Complicated. Yeah. That's good. That was good. Pretty amazing sight, huh? <laughs> Hold those up so everybody can see your bling. How about a round of applause for those rings on those fingers? Yeah. Mazel tov! If you're new to parts of the family, I just know that Cheryl is here tonight smiling down on you guys and smiling down on all of us. And all we can say to that is Mazel tov. Let me hear you say it. Mazel tov. Ladies.
ladies and gentlemen, by the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. together. The weeks, and maybe months too, and one day it'll be many years that I'm still in love with you. Your face has changed, and also your weight, but it doesn't really matter. I'll look at you just the same, my happily ever after. all raise a glass to these two and remind them that if they ever go looking for their heart's desire they don't have to look any further than their own backyard here's to the bride and groom salud and mazel tov.